Hello there, this is Mick Ryan Strain and welcome to my remake review, the show where I review classic movies and their remade counterparts. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1962 epic 300 Spartans and the 2007 uber hit 300. Now, much can be said about these two. I'd first like to point out that I realise that 300 is an adaptation of Frank Miller's book as opposed to the mythic version of the story. Miller himself has stated about the 62 movie, it changed the course of my creative life. It is, however, still nice to put these two side by side to witness two eras reenacting the same events. First, let's take a look, look at the 62 version. This was done back in the days where, if you wanted a thousand people on screen, you needed to get a thousand people on screen. No CG, just lots and lots of extras. It follows the story of King Leonidas leading his personal guard, in inverted commas, of 300 Spartan soldiers to protect Greece from an impending Persian invasion. They lead into a narrow passage where they face off against wave after wave of the Persian attack force, before finally being defeated, but not before inspiring renewed vigour amongst Greece and setting their names in their story into legend. In the 2007 Zack Snyder's 300, it offers little more in terms of content, it is, however, in how he approaches the events that differ the two films greatly. Certain lines no doubt are changed from the original myth. Our arrows will blot out the sun! Then we will fight in the shade. A thousand nations of the Persian Empire descend upon you. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. As you can see, the 62 version goes for a more realistic tone. Before CG was ever created, the only way to create an epic was literally to create an epic. Check out the opening scenes. They needed 2,000 people for this shot, so they actually had to hire that many people, which really sets up the scale for the movie really well. Whereas the new account spark went for an all out eye orgasm, which, considering it was based upon a reimagining of the tale, which was based on a graphic novel, I believe suited this adaptation. The two films differ in the way that they built up the main protagonist, King Leonidas. Where the original have you believe he is a cocky American, overconfident, rarely seen fighting, generic type of leader from the Sandal and Sword movie of the times, the 2007 version will show you his story from beginning to end. How a thirst for blood and victory are instilled from him from an early age, to how far he is willing to go to protect his beloved Sparta. Overall, both of these films, for their time, were great tales to tell. Where in 62 they were just churning out another epic battle movie, in 2007 Snyder was more so following the trend of comic book adaptations, and played it as so, which, looking at Troy and The Mummy Returns etc, was probably the best way to play it out. The ongoing internet phenomenon that began soon after its release will forever embed 300 into our collective pu public society. If only we can forget about Meet the Spartans. This is Sparta! What the hell was that? That is how men of Sparta greet one another. That's not funny. All in all, I'm going to name the 2007 version the winner here. Purely because from a storytelling standpoint and entertainment value, it just wins on every aspect. Not that the original wasn't good, I just preferred the newer version. It was aimed purely to entertain and not to be a massive fight in the desert like all those old school films. So, if you agree or disagree, please feel free to comment and respond down below. I've Mega Eye Strain, thank you very much, tune in next time. But that's only 300 men. I promised to have my men at Thermopylae, I didn't say how many. But this is madness. Madness. This is Sparta!